Ist das Musik? Ist ein guter Song. Toll, lauter machen. Wir haben kein Chef. Keine Mannschaft. Wir kommen wieder wieder raus. Wir werden Hoffnung finden. Im Unmöglichen. Verdammt. Wenigstens sterbe ich nicht allein. Schön, ist ja wieder mal typisch. Hoffentlich gibt's kein böses Ende. Hier beginnt es Kämpfen. Hier schlagen die unendlichen Weiten zurück. Verdammt, was ist das? Ich weiß, wieso ihr hier seid. Wieso wir alle hier sind. Das machen wir nicht nochmal. Mein Dad ging aus Überzeugung zur Sternflotte. Ich wollte mir was beweisen. Du wolltest sehen, ob du in seine Fußstapfen passt. Die ganze Zeit hast du versucht, wie dein Vater zu sein. Und jetzt fragst du dich, was es wohl bedeutet, du selbst zu sein. Das ist nicht ungewöhnlich. Es ist leicht, in den Weiten des Weltalls verloren zu gehen. Da gibt es nur sie selbst. Ihr Schiff. Ihre Mannschaft. Du willst wirklich wieder da raus, was? Was zur Hölle ist das? Wir werden geentert. Schiff evakuieren. Oh mein Gott. Ich weiß, wieso du hier bist. Wieso wir alle hier sind. Unser Captain wird uns holen kommen. Und Gnade wird das Letzte sein, was er im Sinn hat. Ich hoffe, dass das so ist. Die Furcht vor dem Tod ist unlogisch. Die Furcht vor dem Tod hält uns am Leben. Er tötet jeden, der dorthin geht. Das da draußen sind unsere Freunde. Wir können sie nicht im Stich lassen. Einheit ist nicht eure Stärke. Sie ist eure Schwäche. Ich glaube, sie unterschätzen die Menschheit. Haltet euch fest! Feuer frei! Los, los! Entschuldigung. Das ist sein Stuhl. Mein Dad ging aus Überzeugung zur Sternflotte. Ich wollte mir was beweisen. Du wolltest sehen, ob du in seine Fußstapfen passt. Die ganze Zeit hast du versucht, wie dein Vater zu sein. Und jetzt fragst du dich, was es wohl bedeutet, du selbst zu sein. Wir wurden von etwas angegriffen, was uns noch nie zuvor begegnet ist. Ich weiß, das ist nicht das Ende meiner Mannschaft. Aber es ist mein letzter Eintrag ins Logbuch als Captain der Enterprise. I'm bracing for the pain and I am Dann haut den mal was um die Ohren. Haltet euch fest! 
My dad joined Starfleet because he believed in it. I joined on a dare. You joined to see if you could live up to him. He spent all his time trying to be your dad. And now you're wondering what it means to be you. We were overwhelmed by something. Something we've never seen before. I know this isn't the last of my crew. But this is my last report as the captain of the Starship Enterprise. I'm bracing for the pain and I am left. Sie können dieses Ding doch fliegen, oder? Das ist jetzt nicht Ihr Ernst. Star Trek's really about this group of men and women of all races and species collectively working together. And it's a very inspiring vision of hope and unity. Wir sind ein Spitzenteam. Der Meinung bin ich auch. And I think there's also such a range of diversity in the characters themselves. And Gene Roddenberry's vision for this world that he created was that unity in diversity is what will triumph. Wie kommen wir da wieder raus? Wir finden Hoffnung im Unmöglichen. We take care of one another, we sacrifice for one another, and I think the best version of a family is an inclusive one. And uh, the Enterprise is that. Haltet euch fest! Los! One of the exciting things for me coming on this film was to introduce a, a brand new character to the crew. Ich bin Jayla. She comes from a very strong race of aliens. Physically extremely strong. She's incredibly tough, independent, resourceful. Sie helfen mir und ich helfe dann ihnen. We like the idea of Scotty finding a kind of adept young engineer who has a mechanical skill which impresses him. Ich habe die Schachtel an eine Batterie angeschlossen und die kleinen Münder beginnen zu singen. <laughs> das ist ziemlich clever. She is this spirited, sweet, funny, tough as hell character that becomes a very important ally to the crew. Verzeihung. She's quite defensive, very much on her own, and she's been protecting herself. Ich weiß nur, dass wir mit ihnen bessere Chancen haben. Jayla has this sense of innocence, but also this quality of strength that is not manufactured. <laughs> It was very exciting to be a part of this franchise. It was not something I was seeking out, but I realized how much it was part of my life growing up. Justin had obviously proven himself again and again as an incredibly strong storyteller, filmmaker, with movies of incredible energy and action. But what struck me more than that was his love of Star Trek. So I felt really excited to see how he was going to bring his love to life. Evakuieren Sie das Schiff. He's one of those directors who knows what he wants and is able to infuse each scene with real energy. He's a terrific artist and a great storyteller. See how it feels and we'll adjust. He's someone who's very character and story oriented, but someone who can also handle the big stuff. I remember JJ saying, just be bold, make it yours. In every frame of this film, I try to take that to heart. Kraut is 
very complex. When you meet him, you go, oh, he's our bad guy. I wanted a character that is there to deconstruct the Federation's ideals, but to do it in a way where he has a very valid philosophy. We wanted him to have a complex reason behind his bad guyness. He is damaged, but there's some empathy towards him. We want to understand why he's got such beef with the Federation. It just brings an incredible amount of nuance to someone who is seemingly so evil. Crawls, the soloist, he is the nihilist. Watching the Enterprise crash and burn, it felt like I was destroying a legacy. Kral is certainly going to be remembered for that. Ich hoffe, dass das so ist. Star Trek has been a part of my life since I was a little girl. My dad really is the one who introduced me to Star Trek. It just took me one episode to fall in love with this other world that I couldn't understand, but I felt like I could relate to. I hit a wall. I was always very curious about the characters and the storyline. You always felt emotionally connected to the characters and whatever they were going through. This is something that's been a part of me since my childhood. It's never left me. So it wasn't like just doing a song for any random film. I love Star Trek. It was automatic. I would do anything in terms of music. It's such a big deal, not only as a fan, as a musician, because Star Trek is such a big deal across the globe. This song, it needed to be big and impactful, very emotional, dramatic, and haunting at the same time. I couldn't believe it. I was very, very honored to be a part of this film. Kala. Star Trek has been a part of my life since I was a little girl. My dad really is the one who introduced me to Star Trek. It just took me one episode to fall in love with this other world that I couldn't understand, but I felt like I could relate to. I, hit a wall. I, I was always very curious about the characters and the storyline. You always felt emotionally connected to the characters and whatever they were going through. This is something that's been a part of me since my childhood. It's never left me. So it wasn't like just doing a song for any random film. I love Star Trek. It was automatic. I would do anything in terms of music. It's such a big deal, not only as a fan, as a musician, because Star Trek is such a big deal across the globe. This song, it needed to be big and impactful, very emotional, dramatic, and haunting at the same time. I couldn't believe it. I was very, very honored to be a part of this film. Kala. Was uns da wohl alles erwartet? Außerirdische Despoten, die uns umbringen wollen? Das nenne ich Motivation, Pille. There's a lot of humor in this film, actually, and I think the crew diffuses situations with humor. I think the crew highlights their differences with a kind of levity. Habt ihr etwas Schluss gemacht? Wissen Sie, Spock, wenn ein Erdenfräulein sagt, es liegt dann mir, nicht an dir, dann liegt die Schuld bei ihm. I enjoyed having these two characters that are so completely opposite to each other, having to depend on each other to survive and be there for each other. Wenigstens sterbe ich nicht allein. Toll, ist ja wieder mal typisch. I think it's got a bit of everything. It's got great action, great comedy, good drama, and ultimately it's about family. It's about people working together to achieve something great. At the end of the day, it is a movie that inspires us to be better than we are. Du willst wirklich wieder da raus, was? Ja, Doktor. Ja. Ich glaube, das hier ist ein Protoplaster. Der müsste die inneren Blutungen stoppen. Das hoffe ich jedenfalls. Bones has this really neat portable X-ray device. It'd be great to have something like that in the medical world. Die Unglücklichen haben sonst keine Medizin als nur die Hoffnung. Der Tod steht vor der Tür und er zitiert Shakespeare. If I was able to have one piece of technology out of the Star Trek universe, I would love it to be the transporting device. Full setup in the house. Yeah, definitely. To beat the traffic. Nun ja, wenigstens sterbe ich nicht allein. Toll, ist ja wieder mal typisch. 
Jayla has a technology in which she sends holograms of herself to fight. Was denn ihre neue Freundin da? Folgen Sie mir. Jim, du siehst furchtbar aus. Wir sehen uns nachher auf der Krankenstation. Ich sehe mich nachher mit einem Drink an der Bar.